What's up you guys, Claire? Welcome back to the channel CodeCommerce. This is the Material UI Crash Course that we're doing inside of React. Uh, so what we just went over was the input example, and next what we're gonna be doing is this slider example. So really, really cool. We can do lots of cool things with this. So let's go ahead and get started. So first one I'm gonna do is go ahead and comment that out. And let's go ahead and we'll create a new input here. So it's just one's gonna be a slider example, just like that, .jsx. REFC is gonna generate our functional component. Now let's just add that in here. So we'll just say slider example, just like that, cool. All right, so now we should see our slider example. That's what we want right there. Now, um, if this is the first video you're watching in the series, make sure you go ahead and go back to the first one. I'll put a link down in the description below. And so you can install, configure Material UI. Super easy, takes about 30 seconds. So, so let's go ahead and have a look in here, some of the things we can do. So it looks like we're using some icons in there from, from um, icons-material. So let's go ahead and import this here, right? So I'm just gonna copy that over. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's go ahead and paste that in there. There we go. And it looks like we have some state in there. Okay, so we're gonna have a default value of some state. Let's go ahead and paste this in here as well. Um, right now we're seeing react.usState, that way you don't have to import um, usState here at the top. Looks like we have a handle change. So let's go ahead and paste that in here as well. And this is how easy it is, you guys, to use uh, Material UI. So we're not even, I'm just kind of copying and pasting a lot of this. So let's go ahead and save that. Again, get rid of that space there. And let's have a look. We should see some two bars there. Yeah, pretty cool. So have you see, look at that slider. We have a nice little slider. Uh, this one is disabled since it's using this disabled property. If you go ahead and delete that, uh, save, you can see we can now move this around. So that's kind of cool there. Uh, you can also change the uh, sizing property of this as well. So if you're gonna say, uh, by default, I think this might be medium, so we can say size small. Let's go ahead and save. You can see now it's a real thin line. If we bump up to, to large, let's see. So large is what it was before. And then there's a medium, go ahead and save that. So pretty, pretty cool there. We'll go ahead and I'm just go ahead and delete this property all together. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. So um, <clears throat> we already have the icons in here that we look, looks like it just put an icon each, on each side. Let's go down here, so sizes. Discrete slider, so this is kind of cool. You can actually, um, you can see we have the tag right there because right now we don't have that. You can just kind of scroll it and we're not seeing the tag. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So let's go and grab this function here and I'm just gonna paste it in here. Um, <clears throat> we can just paste it in here so we don't need any of this stuff there. It's gonna replace that. And I'm just gonna grab this, we'll grab this whole thing here. So this is also increasing the width by another 100 pixels. Um, and then we have that min marks and the steps there. So let's go ahead and save. See, there you go. So pretty cool. Can't see that top one. We could probably add um, a little bit of margin for that. That's fine. Uh, so you can see, well, this one's disabled. So let's just go ahead and remove that attribute there. There you go. So it's pretty cool right there. Nice. So you can see the steps there. Uh, each step, you can see min max. We have um, 110. We're going to change that to 200 for example you see a lot more of the little dots dots there you can see each jump is now um by default by 10 if you want to move it to say we'll say 50 25 so you can actually see a handful of them so you can see 25 50 100 and so on and so forth um, change that back to 10 we'll change this back down to 100. Uh, let's see by default value there you can see it's bumped at, at 30. Uh, so if we refresh that's why they're all set to 30. Uh, you can set this bottom one. I'll change it to 75. Value step. Let's go ahead and refresh. So right there, you can tell it's we can't actually go to it um, because it's not a value. So if we change this to steps five, now it stays at 75. So it's kind of cool. Let's see what else we can do here. So um, so have a little tag. So we have that tag on top. That's nice. Let's go ahead. And, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one there. So we paste that in there, <clears throat> move that disabled step there. Let's have a look. Oh, we don't have that tag on top there. So let's go ahead and let's see here. Value line, value label display auto. We'll paste that in here. Let's go ahead and save. So the, this value label display, now we can see if we refresh, now we can see we have that little label on top. That's pretty cool. Um, and you can, again, you can change this if you're an account by fives, it's going to be dy dynamic and now you can kind of see by fives. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Small steps. That's cool. 
Oh, there you go. That's kind of neat there. So let's go. Let's copy this in. So this could be something that you're pulling over from like a database, for example. It looks like we have this state in here. Uh, so marks. There's calling it marks. It's just an array of objects here with a value, then also a label to display. Um, let's go ahead and copy this down here. So we'll just take this uh, box there. I'm gonna copy that. I'll just add in another box. Save that like that. So there you have it there. That's kind of cool there. It has the labels in there. Um, if you want to add it, another one, for example, we could come up here. And again, this is good. You could, this is just state. You could simulating like a database. Um, so if we change this to 75, we should now see a little 75 there. And then of course we probably want to, uh, change this to right now it's set by tens. So we can change this step by five so we can actually get to 75. And finally, we also want to change that label there, which would be coming from the, the back end from the database here. So change that to 75. So now we actually land on 75 Celsius. That's pretty cool. You guys, let's see what else we can do here. Um, restricted values that's kind of cool let's see what else we got kind of range sliders that's kind of neat there um again you guys saw how, saw how easy this is it's just literally just like copying pasting code and that's all you need to do so pretty easy here uh if you want to get kind of more uh, get deeper with it you can you can customize it even more so let's copy this down here uh, so lots of customization that you can do as well so looks like we're getting see value is not defined. So our value here is value, value and set value. So it looks like just some state up here that we pasted over. So we'll just add in some state here, 20 and 37. You see handle change is not defined. So where is our handle change? We'll bring in, we'll just copy that in, paste that right there. Nope, there we go. Let's have a look. So that's kind of cool there can change that it's kind of cool awesome if we refresh make sure all those errors go away so look at that that's pretty cool you guys so lots of cool things you can do with this um it's pretty neat let's see i think they have a you can change the color so like color secondary we'll give you that pink color um i'm gonna paste that in there should make that first one pink there you go that's cool um let's see customization give some actual labels to these as well um Look at this music player. That's pretty cool. Uh, not sure what language that is. Maybe somebody comment down in the description below. Um, looks like uh, maybe it's like Filipino or something. I don't know. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's see if we can do this. So just by copying and pasting, we should be able to get all of this, you guys. So let's just see. We have the wallpaper. You know what? Let's just. I'm just going to copy this whole freaking thing there. Whoops. I'm going to copy that whole thing. Paste that in there. And it should just work right out of the box, you guys. So let's go ahead and refresh. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Looks like it's pulling. It just pull, pulls like a local image. Um, I'm not going to put one in there right now. But let's see here. So let's see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at that, you guys. That's how easy it is. It has all this built in. You can come in here and edit it. Um, but literally just copying and pasting something like this. You saw how quick that was. If you're building like a Spotify clone or something like that, then I highly recommend you use some material UI. Cause look at that, you could just copy and paste and then just fill in the values that you're building your, your Spotify clone. It looks just like that. So just like the real deal. That's pretty cool right there, you guys. Um, so yeah, you can change things vertically, horizontally, kind of toggle back and forth. Uh, Non-linear scale, that's kind of cool. Let's see, kind of adds in the effect up there. Let's go ahead and copy this over. I'm gonna paste it in. Go and see how that looks. Going to refresh. That's pretty cool there. So look, it goes up to like my megabytes, then changes it over to gigabytes. So that's kind of cool. So it looks like it calculates a little function in there to calculate the value. So it does have a little bit of logic in here. That's kind of cool. Um, so again, if you want to recreate this from scratch and actually code out your own logic, that's you know certainly doable. Um, but look at the functionality that you can just literally copy and paste straight over uh, from Material UI. So pretty cool there. Um, so yeah, I think that about wraps up the uh, slider component. So stay tuned. Next, we're going to be going over the switch example here in Material UI. So smash the like button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.